Good morning guys, welcome to a little week in my life in New York. Today is Wednesday, I got it Monday, if you guys saw it, my last vlog, I had a nice little, not nice little, there was a lot of drama. I had a solo day in New York yesterday, um, and just like shopped a little bit and then worked. I'm here to record during the week, and then this weekend we are hosting a pop-up for the Okine at Abode. So, just work stuff. If y'all are new here, be sure to subscribe. Today I am recording in the studio, I'm actually about to head out and get some blue bottle, obviously. This blue is like really throwing me off. I'm like not a blue person in my house. I don't think something about it It's like really really throwing me off. I don't know my outfit right now like I'm dying for it. I bought it yesterday at Aritzia I'm currently sending footage over so I'll turn on my laptop, but it's 8 a.m. I'm gonna go get some blue bottle I am so excited. It hasn't even hit me that I can get blue bottle I actually don't even really want coffee that bad right now, but like I feel like it's a must. It's my favorite coffee. I get the New Orleans with oat milk. There's nothing like it. So I'm heading back to the hotel. I have like a little bit of prep I want to do. Get ready, just have like a chill morning because I'm going to be like around a lot of people. Ready. I am dressed like a teacher. Like this fit is like cozy, cute. The issue is that, okay, so I have these jeans. These are Levi's. They're the ones I wore yesterday. This is what they look like. I'm not like so obsessed with these jeans. At different points in my life, I like how they fit versus other ones. I like hate them. But I brought another pair of jeans that were light wash. Okay, let me just tell you something about my jeans. I've been getting a lot of questions about them. Always, always, always Abercrombie Curve Love. These are Levi's. They're the only other pair that I own and wear. I do have a few like designer, like I do have like girlfriend and I do have, I don't know, but I wear my Abercrombie Curve Love the most, okay? And those are always worth it and they're just the best. You didn't know they have like, I think it's like they have two inches like around here so they fit. Like, when you have jeans that like don't fit, but they'll fit your waist or they won't fit your waist, they'll fit your butt or your thighs, like whatever. And like I said, I talked about this recently that I, you know, I think I was like gaining the adult weight, which is fine. And then I had this theory that I have an ass down. And it was just confirmed okay because I was putting my jeans on I'm like they fit they wouldn't fit around my ass I think that that is what's happening granted obviously I have absolutely gained adult weight which is like so normal and totally fine and I actually kind of feel like better in my body but I will say these Levi's do not make your butt look good they always like flatten them so anyways Abercrombie Curve Love Forever I don't even know why I'm on that topic but sweater is Aritzia I look like a teacher I'm wearing Levi's and then I'm wearing Ugg slippers and these socks from Amazon that have a frill in them the thing is I don't like love these jeans specifically with the Ugg many it's like I wish that the jeans hit the Uggs because they look cuter like something about this looks like kind of weird and like they're not the most like flattering jeans ever but it'll do I was already practicing when I was sitting seeing how things go my recording starts in 30 minutes and I'm right around the corner. I need to pick up some paper from the front desk and I will be using my bag from the Okine. Oh my god, on all the drama from yesterday. Okay, so we got an email this morning saying that the stuff is going to be arriving on the 14th, which is Friday. Still too late for the influencer event, which that actually really doesn't matter because most of the people are my friends and then also they're going to get their stuff customized. Everyone's getting their stuff embroidered. But they have to pick out what they want and then they're gonna do it at the store and then the store will ship it out So it's actually like not a big deal at all. This is what I mean by I talk so much with my hands Um, and then in the store we actually should now have product people to walk away with but we are offering embroidery with purchase So if people buy a scarf, then they will get embroidery on the scarf Um, we will have beanies ready to go, but I'm really excited. I feel really good about it and honestly being an entrepreneur, uh, it's tough. We know when they talk about the highs and the lows and the highs and the lows and the highs and the lows. Really high highs and really low lows. So I'm gonna head out. It's 11 5. I need to leave. I can't decide if I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna bring the scarf and just go straight from the studio to a bow later to film this. But like, I feel like this color kind of looks a little bit weird. 
No, actually, I like the brown with the pink. I think this is gonna work, and I can't get over how cute the embroidery is. It says Kinsey on it. Like, these are the scarves that these people will have forever and, like, pass down to their kids. Like, I should go on that says Piper on it. <gasps> Wait, that'd be so cute. I should do that, actually. I will do that. It's kind of bad. I probably shouldn't. I'm only gonna do it if we don't sell out. And then if there's stuff that are still left over in New York, then I will do it, okay? Don't worry, I won't take from the customers. So this is the fit, I guess. It's not cold enough to wear the scarf yet, or like right this second. I'm gonna carry it, and I am bringing my tote bag, which this is like, no, it's not a tote bag, it's my, okay, I have like puffer purse, puffer bag. Best bag ever, it carries everything. Obviously you don't wanna like overstuff it, but it does carry everything and it's great for recording days. We are doing black first, because that's just like the general consensus on bags but i personally want obviously a brown i would love a beige i would love a pink like there's so many things that i want to do i want to do like a matte gray we we're working on something so let me know if you guys like these bags but anyways this is not going to be a super self promo -y podcast we're just or not podcast vlog we're moving on now okay but i'm just taking you through my week and a lot of it is podcast or you know, kind of related. So I'm really sorry if that is annoying to you guys. But I will do other things. And I will be seeing Brooke tomorrow. I will be, actually I'll be seeing everyone tomorrow because Kit's hosting a dinner. And I'm recording with Brooke and Kit tomorrow. Um, and then I'm gonna see everyone like this weekend. That's why I haven't been like really trying to see people yet. And also like obviously everyone has their lives and they're busy. So I'm just feeling really good. I'm really, this is what I mean. High highs, low lows. High highs, low lows. Repeat after me class. High highs, low lows. Okay. We're off. I just passed where my friends and I got matching tattoos when we were in New York for my live show. And here's where we got to left. If you guys saw the virals and TikToks, they got a lot of hate, they went viral, but very funny. Oh my God, I think everyone just thought I was flipping them off because I was holding up my middle finger to you guys. Okay, I'm like going. All right guys, I just finished recording for the day. Recorded with Lindsay of We Better Acme, The String Chicks, which I think is gonna be like one of my favorite episodes I've ever done. I'm like really like amped up right now. Um, but we talked a lot about like, this is going up closer to the holidays, but like being lonely around the holiday season, family drama, the holidays not looking like what you want them to. I think it's been really good. I also love them, like would die for them. And then I also recorded with Jazz today. We talked about Twilight, our holiday content plate. A lot of these episodes are going up in December. So it's 3.30 and I'm heading to a mode to get a little more content to post to promote the pop-up. Like I had dinner plans tonight and they fell through. So I'm like, do I stay in? Because I am going to be out the rest of the weekend. It's going to be really busy. And I love my nights with my weeknights in. When I travel, I kind of try to keep the same routine, but I would like to see some people. I actually like know a lot of people who are in New York right now who don't even live here. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted, but I'm going back to a boat. It's so cute. If you guys live in New York, you need to go. Okay, I just decided I was walking and then I saw these and I'm like, you know what? I need lunch. It's shit like this that makes me like it is so embarrassing people think i'm reading that book no offense to that book or the author but i'm not it's the ads on kindle if you know you know it's like so embarrassing so anyways i just ordered a cute little cocktail as i'm kind of finishing i'm not actually finishing my work day but i'm almost finishing my work day i'm reading tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow which everyone's talking about and it's really long i feel like it has to be really long because i don't know how i'm only at 44 percent um it's good i'm not like obsessed with it it's definitely well written it's a good book but like I'm not, I don't know. I'll let you guys know when I feel like when I'm done. Okay, I think something just happened to make this book better, but this is a beautiful sight. This looks so good. All right guys, I just ordered room service. It's six, like 30 right now. I'm back. I shot a bunch at Abode. This is me right now. I have my pillow patches on. I have my night cream on. I'm wearing my Skims pajama set. When I travel, my whole body gets so puffy and I really do nothing to fix it because my eyes roller isn't even like doing anything and I already had ice drama here and there's no freezer or fridge, so like not much that I can do, you know? But I have work to do. I haven't done anything at night since getting here, but like I'll be here all week. And just the older I get, the more time I need alone, like the more introverted I get, 
I'm gonna be with people like non-stop for the next few days just in um, Marissa fly in late tomorrow night I have work tomorrow and then I'm just doing kind of whatever during the day um, while I'm checking back in I'm moving hotel rooms and then I have a dinner tomorrow with friends and then the girls can hear and then it's a crazy weekend so I was like I have no pressure to see anyone so I'm gonna stay in and get my work done edit stuff that I need to do just have a really nice night and it's really incredible so if you ever feel pressured just because I mean like granted I will say being here and being able to have the luxury of traveling a lot is obviously like a very big luxury um so like experience the most but I just mean like in life if you feel like pressured like I should be doing this I should be doing that when you know that it's just like not the right move for you like listen to yourself listen to your body just kidding, but like actually listen to yourself. So anyway, it's gonna like put some movies on maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna really have a night, night two in the hotel. I just keep doing this and I'm, I'm thriving. Sunday through Wednesday. I don't like doing things and I, I like doing things during the day. And I like being home. Good morning guys, it's Thursday, AKA keeping up, the or not keeping up, the Kardashians, sorry. And Martha Stewart is on this episode. Like. That is, if you know me, I love this woman. Incredible. Just ordered some breakfast. I have to check out of my hotel, out of this room, in like an hour 40, and I need to get ready, and then I have recordings at 11.30. And this is nearing up, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then start getting ready. I have my eye patches on. I got an iced matcha today because I just like couldn't do coffee this morning. I don't know. Guys, look, Kate and I just recorded. Brooke and I are about to record. Brooke and I just finished recording an incredible book episode. I could have gone double the length. Like, I was like, I, you're gonna have to stop me. Like, I actually would have done like a three hour yes. book episode. Maybe that's what we need to do in the future. Yeah. It was so good. We'll so to keep reading, so that'll be like yeah. our reading challenge. Like yeah. keep reading, so that read for the next episode. Yeah. We're gonna go to lunch. Yes, is it raining? Finish. Oh that. god, I hope not. All right, guys, we're at lunch. Just getting some tacos, catching up, gossiping. You know, the use. I've wanted to go to this place, so I'm glad that Kenzie came with me. It's really cute. This is a really huge deal. Brooke just hugged me. I did. I don't know why I felt really tender. Oh my god, it was so sweet. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Okay, I'm leaving lunch. Obviously, forgot to tell you. Like two hours ago. Got a text from Abby who owns a boat. If you watched the last vlog, you know the drama. And guess what? Somehow the stuff got here. And it got here early. So it's like even gonna be here for the influencer event. If you guys watched the last vlog, you know there's a lot of drama. We basically were having a pop up with literally no product. Wasn't gonna arrive. And it somehow got here and got here a day earlier than it was even supposed to at the very, very beginning when they promised us like a different day. So I am so happy. All right, I'm back at the hotel. In a new room, this one is quite spacious, actually, for New York. Cute little bathroom, probably the same vibe. Go in here, there's a couch. I, like, oh, fun fact about me, I actually love sleeping on couches, it's very weird. I can sleep anywhere, I don't know why. Go over here, we have a TV, we have two TVs. Our view is really, really what gets me. Oh my God, it is so crazy. And then we have the bed here, um, and I'll have like Justin and Marissa sleep in here because I can literally sleep anywhere. Wait, a little closet. Oh my, oh, same closet I had. Wow, okay. I love the rooms of this hotel. I hate the servers. They're so rude. Like, the service here sucks. They're, it's not even that it sucks. They're just like really rude. Like, everyone, besides, besides one of them, I loved her. Anyway, so I would recommend it, but the room itself. It's really great. And it's literally around the corner from my studio. And it's down the street from abode. So that's why we're staying here. About to go to a dinner that Kit is hosting. I am actually don't know who all is going tonight. I'm assuming a lot of friends. Margo's going, I know. Um, Brooke and Danielle can't go. But I did, I'm seeing everyone in the morning. So it's fine. Sweater I'm wearing is Favorite Daughter. My blazer is Aritzia. Jeans are Zara. Shoes are... My incredible heels from Sam Elliman, and then my bag is Chanel. So I'm gonna go to dinner, and then hopefully tonight I can come home, shower, wash my hair, read, and then Jess and Marissa get in tonight. They land at like 11, so they'll be here like late. I will be sleeping, but they will arrive. Okay guys, I'm back from dinner. It is 11, it's almost midnight, and I went to an 8 p.m. dinner. This is very unlike me on a weeknight. It's so crazy, people here just like go out on weeknights too. 
and I guess at one point in my life that was me I just like I'm so impressed I genuinely I have so many questions like how do you have the energy how do you wake up the next morning ready for your day how does your face not get so puffy you know what I mean like these people are actually like superheroes I'm not kidding like, I think about it a lot just like different people's capacity and I'm like I just don't know how you do that maybe when you're around that many people all the time you're used to it I don't know anyways that's not even what I came on here to talk about it's later um Jessica and Marissa have landed so they should be on their way to the hotel soon I'm gonna start reading and hopefully like go to bed relatively soon but I just wanted to talk about something that has like really something I've noticed in myself lately is like a lack of confidence and it's weird because I feel like for the most part, like my confidence is like one of my favorite things about myself. And it's not like all the time too. That's why it's hard for me to talk about things because in my head, in order for me to feel a certain way, I have to feel that way 100% of the time. And that's not true. I notice it more around like different groups of people having nothing to do with them, just like things in my own head. Or I'm like telling myself this narrative that like I will be successful, but everyone else in my field will be like more successful than me. Or like I... I can do this amount, but I could never do that, or that's for them, or just like filling the blanks in on like what I think other people think of me, if that makes sense. And it's like really gotta stop. I will say, we were at Serena tonight, and SFK, she gave this amazing like sermon to us. It was like Margo, me, Emily, and Robin, aka Girl Boss Town. Literally like Pastor Serena, it was so good, separately on like dating, just like confidence in general. But I was really tired tonight and also just like not feeling myself at dinner and I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself to almost like perform sometimes when it's like, I don't know how to describe it, like I was just like quiet, which I'm normally not that way, like obviously at all, unless I'm like comfortable with you and that's like, different than being quiet, you're just like whatever, anyways. So with all that being said, I just, I think the confidence is like shaking me and I think I've been more negative towards myself physically too which normally I have a better handle on that, but I'm like feeling weird about that. And then just like the live show in Dallas is stressing me out. And then like, cause it's a bigger venue. Um, and then like the, everything like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of big things are happening that are really great that I'm so, so grateful for. And by no means my complaint, that's not what I'm doing here. I'm just saying that my confidence has lessened and I need to get back to the place where I was before. But it's crazy because I feel like when you're looking at people's like Instagram and stuff and you see obviously it's like Instagram reality But like you probably wouldn't be able to tell that from obviously like what I'm posting because I'm like Posting like this is here. This is that like just photos and like whatever. I'm like way more I'm not also like people that I know in real life follow me on Instagram Like I'm more comfortable for whatever reason talking to a camera for like about like thousands of other people I don't know. It like doesn't make sense but yeah, I don't know. I'm just like struggling a little bit and feeling like people just like don't care and that like what I do doesn't matter and like what this stuff that I make no one watches anyways or like no one cares. Like, I'm like kind of spiraling a little bit, which like I know logically that isn't true, but it's like this negative narrative that I have in my head that I just need to get out of because like, I cannot afford to live like this. Like it's not good at all. So. Anyway, so I don't want to get Debbie Downer, but I just want to have like a real confidence chat because I feel like all of us feel this and I don't know, sometimes I just like don't voice it because I know it's going to pass and I won't always feel this way, but then I just like don't talk to you guys about it and I feel like it's just like an important topic to have, so I don't know, I'm just feeling kind of weird, like I didn't feel like myself at all tonight and there's just like a lot going on like separately even just like stuff that's like not even on like line or on my videos or anything like that and a lot of like also like behind the scenes work stuff that i'm like i just i don't know like i want to do all these things but then i might get my good enough like is this do i have a large enough audience like is this gonna matter will people actually care like that stuff and i don't know it's just like it like sucks to feel this way and also when you're like logically i know but like i, I also i don't care about logically like i'm valid for my feelings but also, I don't want to, like, waste my time with negative energy when, like, I don't need to. You know what I mean? So, anyways, I should, like, go do, like, a gratitude journal or anything. I don't want any of this to be taken out of context. Like, I'm unbelievably grateful for my job. Like, I, in my life, like, I think about that all the time. And, like, it is genuinely all thanks to you guys. Like, I started on YouTube. 
obviously like it's like, gone into different things but like it a hundred percent everything that i have in my life is because of you guys so thank you so much it's not me complaining it's just me being like i don't know how i feel about like myself in these settings all the time you know what i mean not about like dinner tonight like not that it was just like me in general and like other weird things not at all about dinner i obviously like love all those people but I just like sometimes like feel weird and I don't normally feel that way. And I'm also normally like the most talkative one. So I don't know. Like I just sometimes I just don't feel like myself and I feel like that was me tonight. And then that was kind of like the cherry on top of like me feeling not the best about myself. Like not even not the best about myself, but like not confident in like my abilities in whatever way, whether it be like the career I've already built or like what I can do or if so and so likes me or like just things like that and it's like who cares you know what i mean so anyways like i will do this like literally even with my friends like i will get to lunch with someone sometimes not all the time but like you don't feel lunch with someone that you've been friends with for like a decade and then afterwards you think like oh my god like should i have not said that and it's like they like do like you are so far past the point of like saying the wrong thing with those people you know what i mean and sometimes i just like will get in my head about things and i'm like why am i being like this like i just need to Come back to myself. I also am trying to be prepared to do this. So that is definitely why. Now that I'm thinking, when I said all this out loud, all of this, um, it'll eventually, I will wake up one day and feel totally fine and normal. I'm not kidding. Like, it's like, I have PMDD, so it's like very drastic. So anyways, I'm going to like try to like start winding down for bed or something. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this ramble. Good morning, guys. Have my blue bottle matcha. That's how you know I'm feeling a little bit odd. It's not a matcha. Oh, it's not. <laughs> you asked for an iced latte. <laughs> no, I asked for a matcha. You simply did not. I would have never asked for a latte, but how did I not notice until now? <laughs> Guys, like what? You're off. No, I'm really off. Marissa, Jessica are here. Um, I don't even like lattes. That's the, like, I don't even you notice even it. it. I, for whatever reason, am like, an, I woke up feeling, hor you know when you wake up really early for a flight and you don't feel good? That is how I feel today. Um, we're heading off. We have a little film shoot and then we have the influencer brunch for the um, pop up this weekend. Like, I'm like, ah, really not doing well. <laughs> really not doing well. Cute outfit. <laughs> Our view is just beautiful. Let's see. Wow. New York. Love New York. There's something like so embarrassing about having a suitcase when you're not on an airplane. Anyways, we're heading off to abode for our little shoot. All right, guys. Look at us. Marissa's being the best friend ever <laughs> and holding our stuff for us. Assistant for the weekend. Truly the best ever. We're shooting stuff. Jess is shooting something. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Um, I'm of course wearing Uggs. Like there's never an event in which I will not wear Uggs. I would wear Uggs. I actually wear Uggs every day of the suit. Yeah, you have. I just can't. Actually, you have. I won't be wearing any other shoes. I brought my product. Oh, I brought my product for free to try too. Beautiful. Um, I made my purchase this weekend. Yes. Yeah. So, anyways, we're over in Nolita. Abode is just down the street. It's very cute. We're just getting our photos. Guys, we're at the store. We just got a juice. I'm my stomach just hurts really bad. I think it was like maybe the whiskey. I don't. I didn't even. Dr I literally had two drinks, and it's like. I mean, I'm not hungover. It's like I'm actually like feel sick, you know. Um, but Marissa just said something very alarming. No psychotic behavior. She goes, "I love dome lids. They just make no. me feel so lucky." You guys, Kenzie Elizabeth fans, vote down in the comments. Because literally a dome lid on an iced drink will make you feel the most fancy you know ever. No, it makes me feel like I'm a middle schooler ordering no, a frappuccino. 100%. No, absolutely not. 100%. <laughs> I made a TikTok or I posted it on my story and like everyone replied. Because it is, it's like a known thing that's psycho behavior. No, I yeah. mean, what makes this not iconic? It's embarrassing. It's not. It looks like the you asked for whipped cream. is boring. No, it looks like you asked for whipped cream. No, that's why it's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. No, I, I vote embarrassing, but no. let us know in the comments below. I got on my skin. 
scar. Such a cute idea. It actually is shocking that I didn't do that. <laughs> An honor to you. I love it. You got gray, right? Gray scarf, black font. Cute. Love. So Everyone's excited. picking out their stuff. Well, actually, people are still outside, but. All right, guys. I didn't. I don't know. I'm wearing sunglasses inside because I like to look better. The past 24 hours have been an absolute shit show. Let me just set you down here. So yesterday I woke up sick as we knew. Turns out I had food poisoning. I threw up all day. I somehow made it through the influencer brunch. Um, and then I came home and I was in the hotel room up until now, which is the next day at 1020. The pop-up is starting in 40 minutes. And I was so sick. I've never been so sick. I still don't feel great, but I definitely got food poisoning from the night before and it was just rough. But the influencer event went great. I'm really hot right now. My outfits, I'm not feeling myself. I'm not feeling good. I don't feel great. I just feel gross. So I'm going to book a driver appointment for later. Um, Marissa and I are here. We're going to go to Chacha Macha. The pop-up um, we have lunch reservations, do a little bit of shopping, and then I'm gonna get my hair done. Yes. And that's gonna be our day. I'm like, what time should I do a dry bar? At like three then? Yeah, I was gonna say probably like three. Okay, so I'm gonna see if they even have a reservation open, because it is Saturday. True. So, oh, so I'm on Sony meds. Um, and I, I most of at like physically, I just like, you know when you just have been sick? My self tanner is so messed up on my body. The guy, I'm really just falling apart today. It's tragic. It's really tragic. But uh, we're gonna go to Chacha Matcha and that will cure me. Maybe my first food that I've had in 24 hours. If they have a nitro latte. They do. No, but I know they do. It's my favorite drink, but they never have it working. Oh, I had one yesterday. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Guys, suddenly I'll be happy again. I just, I can't get over my luck. Every pop-up that I do, something just goes terribly wrong. So, um, but the actual like product did arrive. That's a big plus. It did arrive. That is a big After plus. A very fresh. Chacha matcha nitro latte. Yeah. I don't care that it's eight dollars. <laughs> I don't care. I got it every day in college, and it's a small price to pay for my happiness. We're making it to the pop-up. How is it open already? It doesn't even open till 11. Oh my god, so exciting. Guys, I don't think I even vlogged this yesterday. Our little cute setup with our New York tote bags. <laughs> we have our scarves and beanies, totes. So cute. Guys, huge deal. Okay, so tell them what you were just telling me. I'm here from Baltimore. I came to see Kenzie. I've literally been following her since four hours. Three hours. That is Three so hours. crazy. She's wearing the Skims dress. Yes. I uh, Love. I got this dress because of her, so you owe Kenzie a lot. <laughs> Thank <laughs> she, you. She does a lot of sales for this. Guys, also, no, I am obsessed. All right, guys, Marissa and I are at Little Ways. I got a tea. The pop up so far, we were there for like two hours, has been so good. Deviled eggs, my fave. So delicious. Some of you guys will come, but some people, we're gonna stop by really quick after. And then I have my driver appointment. I'm gonna shop and eat tonight. And it's gonna be a good little New York City. This is my like, mushrooms, fries. Like, what am I even ordering? I got a tea. I don't know, guys. All right, guys, I just went back to the pop up to meet some more of y'all. Here we are. Dry bar. This is gonna fix my life. Just got out of my blood appointment. I feel like a new person. Oh my god, there's just like nothing like someone else doing your hair. I swear it like cures every problem. Guys, Marissa made a little purchase. Oh wait. Just a little. Made a little purchase. Very cute. No, I kind of think you will wear them a lot. Yeah, I like I like them. Okay guys, went to dry bar feel a lot better with my hair actually done. I just, I look like I'm like working corporate right now. My level of commitment to chocolate brown and also I just like cannot put on a different outfit. It's crazy. So sweater, favorite daughter, Aritzia blazer and pants. And then I have my Chanel ballet flats. Actually the first time I've been wearing them. And then my Chanel bag. Like I look like corporate. You guys can't even tell the different colors. It's not my like favorite outfit I've ever worn, but I've honestly just like given up on this trip because this trip like I don't know what's in the air 
but like it is against me. I've never felt as though it, it's not a city. It's not. A, it's not even a week. It's just this trip. It's really against me these days. So, anyways, this is my outfit. Still cozy. We're gonna go shop a little bit. We're gonna go get dinner with a friend of mine, I think. And then, yeah, we're just gonna see where the night takes us. Nice little New York evening. Um, but I feel like a new person now that my hair is actually done and I didn't have to do it Which is the best thing ever if money wasn't an object to you Are you really 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 wealthy? What's the first thing you would spend money on? I would have someone do my hair like every day and even makeup honestly glam That's what I would do This is so cute. It's so hot. Oh my god like burning So cute. Hey guys, we are now going to another Aritzia. <laughs> it's really embarrassing, it is. I actually like love this one. My Chanel shoes. Oh my God, even my nails match. <laughs> Picking out sunglasses. I think I'm gonna get these. Guys, I literally just gasped when I saw that. Oh my God, stop all the Christmas stuff. Wait, I have to take a photo. I literally have to take a photo. Paper source, I love you. I love you, I love you. Oh my God. It's looking so beautiful. I know, right? Like I don't go here at home all the time. I've already been to Aritzia like multiple times this week. Good morning, everyone. You'll be happy to know that I'm feeling better. It is also the last day we leave today. So that sucks, but I am finally feeling better. Marissa just just went off with her sisters. Her family's in town because she's from Connecticut. Um, we're gonna go get breakfast. The store doesn't open until noon, so then we're going to the pop-up. Then we have lunch reservations at American Bar. And then I guess we'll probably, we can just like walk on like Bleecker and shop and stuff yeah. after that. And then we're gonna leave for the airport at like 4.15. We don't land until 9.30 tonight in Dallas time, which is very late for all of us. So I'm mentally preparing. But the pop-up was so great yesterday. I don't even think I like said this. There were just so many of you who came that were so nice and just incredible. And so many people got scarves and I'm very, very excited. So you guys are watching this now, by the way, the scarves um, have fully launched online. So check that out. But you know, the, the dry bar appointment was a good call yesterday. I do think that that had a little something to do with me waking up feeling better today. You know, who, who needs meds when you can just have a dry bar appointment? I need to know what's taking so long on my laptop right now because I like I just need this to export so I can leave. You know? Oh wait. <gasps> it's working. Well, everything is working out in my favor literally in the morning that I'm leaving New York. Also, this has been the longest week of my life. I cannot believe I've only been here for a week. No, but actually the longest. The longest week ever. <laughs> So, oh my god, those socks look cute with those sneakers. Like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's nice. Love. So I'm gonna do a better job of vlogging today. Um, sorry everyone. I feel horrible about being sick, but um, there's only so much you can do to control food poisoning. And I've only been eating like soups and stuff since I'm like afraid. So, anyways, my um turtleneck is Aritzia, my jeans are curve love, and then I'm of course wearing Uggs. Born Uggs every day this week. Final fit, I'm kind of dressed like a grandma. My sweater is Aritzia. It's my new fifth thing. Got it this week. Jeans are curve love, obviously. Uggs, I'm literally dressed like a grandma. Got soup, got them on. We've literally waited it an hour. <laughs> like, it's been crazy. But their dishware is so cute. Got a little soup, of course. Peach, grapefruit juice, matcha. We're really happy in the morning. We're doing a little shopping before we have like 40 minute, more minutes. And other stories. Marissa got a ton of sweaters here the other day. Oh, that blue turtleneck is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. But I love that. <gasps> that is, well, also, I'm like basically wearing that in like a lighter pink. But, but that is so cute. I immediately was drawn. There's so much pink over there, and I ran there. I know. We're going. Marissa and I are going to New York, to Paris New Year's Eve. So, oh my God, the horse sweater. Horse girl winter. See, like, I'm not normally. I think girl, this is cute. 
this super pop vest is the one that I need. Like it's so cute. Even the red, like we're talking about red is like grown on us. All right, off to Mango we go. I got one of my most worn coats. It's so literally all H&M and then one is Mango. Hey guys, we're leaving Abode. Great, successful pop-up. It's almost all sold out. And there's still like five hours to go. Off we go to American Bar for lunch. Hey guys, amazing. We're at American Bar. We got salads, my bag just fell. Not good, keep this up. We're eating fast, we can go shopping. So we have to leave in like two hours. Looks so good. Hi guys, I'm doing a haul. My stomach hurts, I'm like literally dying. But uh, doing a little haul to show Jessica. She, oh. Hi guys. Uh, band. So not Wait, me. where is all this from? And other stories. Okay. And then I also got oh cute little socks for my Prada look. Are those pearl line? Yes. That's cute. And then I also got hand cream. I forgot about that. I was wondering what I got. And then can you tell I'm like about to fall asleep? Yes. <laughs> it's been a week. I barely survived. Okay. This pink skirt. Yeah. Look at how cute. Oh, uh, that's really cute. And then I got a green skirt. Love. Cute. Oh, this is what I was like. Oh, this is for me. Look at how cute my scrunchies are. I love that. So cute. And then last thing, but obviously the best, I got new set glasses. Beautiful. Oh my god. Are they the ones I think they are? They're like the really popular ones? Mm, yep. They're so cute. Love. So cute. So that's what I got. I'm gonna go wash my face and change to the airport and work on the plane because we have a little launch date tomorrow so we actually lost you. And I just want to sleep. I'm like delusional. Like I'm like, I'm literally sitting here like. Mm -hmm. So anyways, don't get food poisoning guys. Don't do that. Okay, you thanks. Like haul? Thanks for the haul. I yeah. liked it a lot. Okay, good. Like we both have imposter syndrome mm -hmm. and I think everyone does. And there are days that both of us are like, oh my God, I've never like, you, you spiral in thinking and catastrophize. Like for me personally, I'm like, it'll happen like once a month where I'm like, oh my God, I've done nothing. I'm not like, I'll never get to where I want to be. I'm so far behind. I'm so this and that and whatever. And like, it it really is normal to feel those 